we go over to Wilder to check out this wave on a string, I wanted to show you this little simulation opportunity. You can go to this web address if you want to check it out yourself. We're going to set this to oscillate. A little pump is going to move here. Same as what we'll have, or similar to what we'll have over in Wilder. I have the frequency set at this. This length is determined. Um, it's going to be a different length than what we have over there. But nonetheless, let's run this and see how it reflects off of our fixed end here. And it develops into a standing wave be because I've already set these frequency and amplitude numbers correctly. And we can see this develop, the node about right in this zone, another node, another node. And then we have four anti-nodes. Let's pause it. And we have one, two, three, four. That's the same as saying two full wavelengths. Here's one wavelength, and here's the second wavelength. Uh, now over there, we will also cut the frequency in half. So let's try that here. Bring this down to 0.5 and then restart this and run. Let it develop a bit. There we go. We see that node developing right in here, creating our standing wave. And let's pause it. And here we have one full wavelength. You can play around with this to pulse it, maybe manually move it up and down. It's kind of interesting. Let's head over to Wilder. Okay, check this out now. We're over in Wilder with this wave on a string, fixed end. Can you see the four antinodes? One, two, three, four, all the way down there, coming back to this wave generator that um, Ralph has his hand on. The one end is being controlled by the wave driver, otherwise known as a speaker. We can see this first wave with the first node there, nice and clear. From the fourth harmonic, he's reducing it. Look at the line, look at the string. You see how it's no longer a standing wave as he's reducing. He's honing into about nine hertz, which should give us the second harmonic. There it is. One antinode in the middle, I'm sorry, one node in the middle. Two antinodes, one of which we can see pretty well right there. Now we're gonna switch over to strobe. This is back at 18 hertz. This is the fourth harmonic, we got four anti-nodes total. We can see two of them really well here. Down further uh, along the table, it's not, that, it's not that good with the strobe light. All right, so let's focus in on the two that we can see really well. Here at the anti-node, the, the amplitude is the greatest. Constructive interference is going on here. Back at the node, this first node from where our controller is, this is where the destructive interference is going on. And you can actually touch the string right here and not affect the rest of the wave pattern going on. Thanks for watching. 